Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today on Tundra Tactical, we're going to be telling you what your muzzle device says about you. So stay tuned, thanks for watching, and let's start the show. It seems you guys dig the spicy nature of these videos, so we decided to make a full series covering all aspects of gun ownership. If you have an idea for a future video, let us know in the comments section down below, and maybe, probably not, but maybe, we'll steal your idea for our own. So break out the Kleenex to wipe away all the butt hurt in the comments, and let's get spicy. The A2 Birdcage. Congratulations on purchasing an AR-15. Welcome to the club, you freaking noob. Come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on! The first thing that you need to know is that you don't know anything. If you did, you'd understand that only dorks, the poors, and idiots use A2 bird cages as a muzzle device on their AR. Well, actually, I guess there is soldiers too, but they don't count. Internet gun experts like us have literally spent tens of hours digging through shit posts on AR15.com, researching what muzzle device is actually the best. And while the jury's still out on that, it's pretty much a known fact that the A2 birdcage does absolutely nothing other than advertise your lack of tactical street cred. So I'm gonna need you to go ahead and sit down for a while while the big boys play here. You're about one wrong statement away from being labeled as a FUD. The Bravo Company Battle Comp. Hey dude, you're looking pretty slick there rocking that battle comp. This is the muzzle device that is run by the true tactical bearded badasses that self-identify as attack helicopters. If you sport this muzzle device, you probably watch way too much Grand Thumb, if there is even a such thing, and you're probably trying to think that someday you might be as cool as the Plaid Daddy himself. Unfortunately, you're not as cool as the Plaid Daddy. You aren't cool at all. You live in your mom's basement. You've sold enough of your old Yu-Gi-Oh cards to be able to spend $140 on a muzzle device that's arguably not much better than the A2 birdcage that came with your $500 AR. Remember when I said that the A2 muzzle device was a sign of a noob? Well, since then, some tactical guru on another YouTube channel has said that it's just as good. So, my opinion has changed. Good job wasting your money on the battle comp, idiot. Oh, excuse me, hold on. You have a suppressor now. Guess what? Even though you have one, it's now lame and you suck. You spent $200 on a tax stamp and waited six months to finally take your can home. And during that time, better and more badass cans hit the market. Does your suppressor come with a QD? I didn't think so. I mean, how are you gonna tactically transition from suppressed and unsuppressed without a QD can? Way to be one step behind the latest trends. You probably have a sweet Blu-ray player and a 3D TV. Did you also buy an Ouya? Bet you don't remember that. Perhaps you invested in the coolest cooler when it was still on Kickstarter. You clearly don't value your money and will be easily parted with it. Now may be a good time to mention that you can support us on Patreon at patreon.com backslash Tundra Tactical. With that being said, we still want to shoot with you because even though your can was only cool last year, it's still better than the one we currently own, which does not exist. Any aluminum muzzle device from Amazon. You are thrifty as hell and can't see why anyone would ever consider paying more than $25 for a muzzle device when they can get the same thing for cheap and theirs will be lighter weight. You think you're the smartest guy in the room and cannot think of a single reason why you might want the attachment on the end of the barrel to be made of steel. You own three pairs of pants and keep them in rotation. You bought an electric lawnmower. Your scotch of choice is McGavin's. You prefer Rayovac batteries. You buy store brand cheese. You also brag about the gas mileage on your gently used Nissan Versa. You only shoot wolf because supposedly it's just as good. You use sliced bread as hamburger and hot dog buns. Your ketchup is store brand and is allegedly fancy, according to the label. This degenerate has actually considered using laundry soap as body wash because what's the difference? If your muzzle device was designed to break windows, I have a question for you. Who the F do you think you are, Denim Dan? What windows do you plan on breaking? Also, did you ever consider the fact that pretty much every muzzle device slash naked barrel is capable of breaking a window? These gimmicky things are the reason why Wish.com is able to sell tactical gear. Some of you guys will buy almost anything that claims to be tactical. You're the type of person to wear driving gloves in your Camry. 
you wear shoes that claim to make you more fit, you have the ab trainer that literally just electrocutes you, you bought a Zune, you created a Harlem Shake video, you still maintain an ant farm, you tried to learn breakdancing, I think you tried cocaine once in the 80s, you have a collection of slap bracelets, you sleep on a waterbed, and you bought Mexican jumping beans after getting cornrows put in your hair during that vacation to Cancun. Do you really think that you need a muzzle brake for your AR-15? You do understand the rifle shoots a varmint round, right? I mean, you must be made of glass and gelatin since you don't have the constitution about you to handle the recoil of a 55 grain 223 cartridge. You probably have one of those pads in your seatbelt. You have a padded toilet seat. You have one of those rubberized grippy things on your pencil. Your bed has a mattress topper. You keep your grass extra long in case you fall down in the front yard and you have an odd fascination with helmets. If you're mag dump in a 458 SOCOM, I will concede my point. But otherwise, you need to sack up and learn how to manage recoil. Note, Eric just got a muzzle brake for his current upper build. Good job, Eric. If you haven't caught on to what we're about here at Tundra Tactical yet, you should realize that you literally cannot pick the correct muzzle device. They are all either impractical, dangerous, or make you look like a tryhard, which is what we do well. You're all noobs, and there's nothing you can do to rectify that unless you spend a larger percentage of your time interacting with us on our Discord server. Then you'll lose your noob status, but you'll still have the wrong muzzle device. If you dislike this video, then you are probably still waiting on a tax stamp. But if you like the video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and share it around with your friends. Consider subscribing to our channel and checking out our Patreon page to stay up to date on current and future content. And if you haven't done so already, head on over into the link in the description below to tpublic.com to check out one of the sweet new Tundra Tactical t-shirts. Thanks for watching guys, and you can now find us on Instagram at Tundra Tactical MN.